Welcome to the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me on Fabulous Cooking today. I have an amazing menu for you. I'm going to be cooking up some crock pot honey garlic chicken with rice, and then we're gonna make air fryer egg rolls. And to help me today, I've invited my friend Nancy to come and help me. Hi, Nancy. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank, thank you. Thank you for joining me, Thanks I appreciate for it. Me. <laughs> so I'm so glad you're here thank today. You. We're getting, getting to know each other, but you know what? One of the things I like about you a lot is that you're a northern girl. I am. Yes, you came here from Chicago to Richmond, Kentucky. I did. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm from Michigan too, so to me you talk normal. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Everybody says I have an accent down here, so they're gonna say that about you too. <laughs> but I wanna get started with this recipe. Um, it is so good. We're putting a cookbook together, I wanna let you know that. So you can watch for that. Um, if you wanted to see any of the things that you've seen, like we have jewelry, we have body bars, we have aprons, we have scars and stuff on the julietussieshow.com slash shop. I want to give that shout out to all the girls watching right now. <laughs> You're gonna love it and price, my price point's amazing. So go there and check out because we've gotten a few emails about the aprons and things like that and we want everybody to know where they can find them. So the julietussieshow.com forward slash shop. So this crock pot honey garlic chicken, I love to cook in the crock pot. So we're going to take, and we're going to make our honey garlic sauce right before um, we put it in the crock pot. We want to mix it together. So we're going to start out with a half cup of honey. I love this. See that? Do you like honey? I do, especially in hot tea. Oh yeah, <laughs> me too. It's not even right how much I like that. Watch out Cracker Barrel. <laughs> like. <laughs> Can I have like three packs of honey, please? <laughs> so we've got that. Then we're going to put in a third cup of soy sauce. Now this is gonna be fun. This is so sticky. Do you think I'll need this again? Eh, no. <laughs> no, I think I'll put it in there. So I was doing this yesterday and cooked this and it was so good. I can't wait for you guys to get to try this. I can smell the garlic already. It smells delightful. Oh, thank you. And Nancy has been helping me on these um, three last three episodes, including this one being the third. <laughs> and we did a lot of chopping and we food did. prep, didn't we? It was mm -hmm. so fun. All right, so we got that. Then we're going to put in, um, there's where our onion is, a third cup of onion diced. <laughs> so let's put this in. There's a third cup. We're, I'm using scallions because we didn't dice an onion. You can be so, this is what I love about cooking. And I think why our show is different is you can use what you have. You know what I mean? See, there's so many things you can use what you have and save money. Because a lot of times we go to the store with this menu and we forget an item, then we don't cook it, the other foods spoil, or you think you can't make it. But you can actually substitute. I love green onions. So do I. I love green onions. So that is going to taste delicious. All right, now, oh, here's a weird one. Quarter cup of ketchup. And look, I did need it. I needed my honey thing. <laughs> Let me grab a spoon. <laughs> I love these little measuring cups, but they're a little, they're a little um, precocious to get things out of, if you know what I mean. All right, and then we're gonna do two tablespoons of uh, avocado oil. So we're just gonna estimate here. One and two. All right. That is smelling. Can you smell I that? Can. That is smelling awesome. All right, now we're going to do all this minced garlic. <laughs> we're going to do four tablespoons. Now, if you're watching this today and you don't have time to write it down, you can actually go to the julietussieshow.com and you can download this recipe right on your own computer and print it out. Isn't that amazing? I love that. All right, and then then three tablespoons of cornstarch, which will be used later. So you take everything and you incorporate it, mix it up. Mmm, doesn't that look good? It does. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I cook all day and I hardly eat. Have you noticed that about <laughs> yes. me? So I'm like, oh, this is so good, I can't wait. It's craziness. So you just mix it up really, really well. Then you set it aside and you get your crock pot. And in this crock pot, we already have three or four chicken breasts. 
And so I'm just going to salt them really well. I like a nice coarse salt. Do you like coarse salt coarse, when you're cooking? Definitely. And I like a coarse pepper for cooking too. So then you salt and pepper it. Then you take this mixture. Oh, please don't let me get it on my new shirt. <laughs> Isn't it cute? <laughs> and you pour it over top. We must have been delusional. We've been, we've been cooking all day long and we're like, I thought I put onion in that. <laughs> That's cracking me up. Now, if you're going to put a regular onion in, I recommend a sweet onion or a Vidalia onion, but you could use red onion if you want. And you dice it really, really fine. Put about a third of a cup in there. So, can you see this? Let's see? Oh, now you put this in the crock pot. You put the cover on. I don't know if you can see, but I love these liner bags. Easy cleanup. Oh, crock pots can be a nightmare to get clean. And so, <laughs> these are like so wonderful. And another trick, Nancy, I got to tell you my trick. You can go buy um, mashed potatoes already made in the store, put this liner in, pop them in your crock pot for like Thanksgiving or special meals. And now everybody thinks you mashed them and just kept them in there to keep them warm. And then when you're done, you just pull the bag out, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> secret, secret hack right there. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna set this on high for three to five hours. And what you wanna do is check your chicken and when it is tender, you're going to take the chicken out, dice it up into bite-sized pieces. We're gonna take the sauce right now over to the stove that's cooked already with the chicken. And we are gonna thicken it with cornstarch, put it all together and serve it with rice. We'll be right back. Hey, this is Julie. If you're enjoying the music on the program that you're hearing today, I want you to have your own copy. It's a CD that Gary and I wrote and recorded called And Dance. It's Christian blues and it's amazing. Get your own copy today at cdbaby.com forward slash CD forward slash Julie Tussie 4. Again, that's cdbaby.com slash CD slash Julie Tussie 4. Stephanie Wells, master stylist at Color Creation Salon in Richmond, Kentucky, specializes in custom hair color and precision cutting. Make your appointment with Stephanie today. Hair by Steph Wells. Beautiful hair they won't forget. Honey, let's go shopping at Bluegrass Marble and Granite. All right, but I really don't want to miss the game today. Bluegrass Marble and Granite of Richmond is Madison County's only local fabrication shop for granite, marble, quartz, and Dacton countertops. Visit our showroom to view full slabs of natural stone and schedule a free in-home estimate. Order now and receive a free Kentucky-shaped marble cutting board. Always have your drink on a rock with Bluegrass Marble and Granite. Go get! Visit John Rader Farm Bureau Insurance North Madison office for your insurance needs, great rates, and great service right here in Richmond, Kentucky. Tell them Julie sent you. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to thicken our honey garlic sauce. Now the chicken has cooked in this all day long and I, um, I, I took the chicken out, cut it in bite-sized pieces, and now the sauce or the, it's actually like a, you can see in the up close, it's kind of really thin but it's so full of flavor it's delicious so we're going to take we're going to take a three table uh three teaspoons of cornstarch which is in this bowl and then you add a little water to it you can see it's going to get it's just going to incorporate and be thin then when your um, liquid is boiling you pour it in with a whisk and you stir really fast and you make it you can see it you can see it thicken up really fast if it starts getting really thick you want to pull it up off the heat oh my gosh that looks amazing and i'm going to pour it over the chicken and i'm going to take it over here now you may have noticed that I have a beautiful apron on. We do, I do, you know what I decided to do, Nancy? I decided to um, sell aprons because I love like the 1950s aprons. This one's kind of like a 1950s floral. I have, I have aprons from the 50s with lemons on them. 
I actually found some 1920s aprons. Ooh, that's and then, nice. yeah, and then just, so there's just a, a, an assorted amount and it's not, I'm finding them one at a time. So if you go on the juliechessyshow.com slash shop and you see one you like, put it in your cart and buy it because I might only get one of that particular apron. So I'm on the, I'm on the search for those. We're actually gonna do a 1950s cooking show. How fun. Too. We, we bought the um, original 1942 Betty Crocker cookbook and, and a 1950s Betty Crocker cookbook. I've been looking for all of that and collecting. Fun. So we're gonna do a whole recipe with that. I'm so fine. what I'm gonna do with this chicken now is I'm going to stir it up. Look at this, Nancy. Oh, it smells so good. <gasps> oh, isn't that going to be so good? It is. I feel funny that there's no vegetables in it. So we are going to um, cook some Asian vegetables to go on the side of this, and we're going to make some egg rolls. So we'll be right back with you. <laughs> so now we're going to begin to make the mix that goes in the egg rolls, and I'm so excited about this. So I'm taking, two, I'm taking a one-pound package of ground chicken. You can use turkey, but I prefer chicken. Um, and I'm browning it off, as you can see. Now, to brown it, I'm going to put in a half of a teaspoon of ginger paste. You can actually use ginger dried if you need to, or fresh. And then I'm putting in about four tablespoons of garlic, a third cup of onions. I'll turn my heat back up. I've already got salt and pepper in there. And then I'm going to cook this until the vegetables are translucent. Now, trick to cooking chicken, and I, um, I, I want to tell you how to cook chicken. The trick to cooking chicken that's ground is making sure that you either are right on top of it when you put it in your pan, or you add a little bit of water like I just did, and you can um, get it to be finer, because I don't like like chunky meat, do you? I don't like it. All right, so we'll cook this off. Miss Nancy, will you read my um, recipe and make sure I'm getting everything? I think I have to add soy sauce. Soy sauce? Ground ginger, Onion. avocado oil. Okay, yeah, we bring Excess. me that oil and I'll put a little oil in here. That'll be helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of avocado oil. And when it gets closer to being done, I'm gonna put some um, soy sauce in it. And I think I bought egg. low sodium. I think I bought low sodium. I don't usually use that, but if you're watching your fit and fabulousness, that might be something to try. <laughs> Scrambled egg? No, that'll be for the wash. Thank you for checking that for mm -hmm. me. All right. So this is taking, what, three or four minutes? It's about two-thirds of the way done. So now I'm going to put my cabbage in it, cabbage and carrots. You can actually cut this all up by hand, or you can buy a coleslaw mix. And that's what I did. I found one that had a lot of um, carrots in it, and that's... I don't know, I probably just did about a quarter cup of soy sauce. I think it's really just to taste whatever you like. And so we'll cook this off, and we'll be right back to fill our egg rolls. So you can see we got our uh, mix for the egg rolls done, the, the stuffing. I've always liked that. Oh, it smells it amazing. It smells so good. It smells amazing. I can't wait. Here, I'm going to put it where it's under the camera. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's healthy. It's delicious and so, so good. So now um, we've got Asian vegetables cooking in the microwave. A mix going to be so good. I love veggies. Excellent. Stephanie Wells, master stylist at Color Creation Salon in Richmond, Kentucky, specializes in custom hair color and precision cutting. Make your appointment today. Beautiful hair they won't forget. 
Hey, this is Julie Tussie. I want to invite you to listen to my podcast, The Julie Tussie Show. It's a lifestyle podcast for women. I'm also known as the Big Blonde Baby, and I like to bring you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. Yes, with me, no topic is off limits, but in this unpredictable and exciting show, I like to focus on women's health, fitness, fashion, current events, and women's lifestyles. This edgy, funny, and informative podcast is just what you need to quote unquote live your life to the fullest. Find me on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and iTunes. The Julie Tussie Show podcast. You're going to love it. The music on this program is off a CD that Gary and I made called And Dance. It's Christian blues, and we'd love for you to have it. You can get it at cdbaby.com forward slash CD forward slash Julie Tussie 4. Find a healthier you at Campbell Chiropractic in Richmond, Kentucky. Safe, effective, and natural wellness. Get a free gift on your first visit when you tell them Julie sent you. Thank you very yes. much. So we're right on point here. We're going to make an egg wash. I'm going to crack one egg. I'm going to put it in a bowl. And simply to make an egg wash, all you do is take an egg and scramble it. Take a fork and just whisk it really, really well. And if you don't whisk it well enough, it won't spread as easily. So you kind of want to break that egg white up. Show it who's boss, Nancy. <laughs> Whip it. <laughs> Whip it good. Do, do, do. Whip it. <laughs> All right. So, you're going to take your, um, what are these called? Egg roll wrappers. Wrappers. Okay. Going to take your egg roll wrapper. Like, look, you could do all kinds of crazy things with that. It's like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> this is crazy stuff. <laughs> okay. I think I'm getting delirious. We've been cooking all day. <laughs> then you take a brush. I think I'll do this one. And you simply wash the edges, all four corners. Can you see that really well, Aaron? He's the producer of the show, I wanna make sure. Thank you. All four corners. Oh, there we go. And you turn it diagonal. This is kind of like wrapping a baby. <laughs> Do you remember when you I have like your babies are little yeah. and you like wrap them in a diamond shape? Okay, so you put your meat in here, your meat and veggies. I don't want to have too, too much so it won't close. This will be a test. <laughs> and you kind of wrap it up like a little burrito. I think this is how you do it. This is how I'm doing it. In and roll. Yep. <laughs> as long as it goes, right? And then you just kind of rub these edges down. So now we're going to get our egg rolls in the air fryer, but first I have to say, Nancy, oh my gosh, does it smell so good and it smells here. wonderful. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love Asian food. I love how it's light and full of vegetables and good for you. Oh, the ginger, that's yeah. what gets me. Really, the ginger? Hmm. I, and don't doesn't some of it even have cilantro in it, which is my favorite spice. I think hmm. you can have a little cilantro on things here and there. So we've got our egg rolls wrapped up. And if, they, if they're not sticking, you just take your egg wash and rub on them. But first of all, I'm going to take Pam, and this is my air fryer basket. So I'm going to put it in my sink, and I'm just going to spray Pam on that so that they don't stick on the bottom. Now, when you put these in, I have a little bit of avocado oil here in a brush. So when you put them in, you're going to want to make sure that you cover them with oil all the way around. You could put Pam on them, but I just... I think they're going to crisp up a little bit more with some avocado oil. So that's what I'm trying. Crispier the better. Yes. When it comes to an egg When roll. you put them in your air fryer, you don't want them to touch each other. Okay. So this brush is making them have a little bit more. But if, you, if you're doing fit and fabulous, which we give you our original recipes, and then we teach you how to make them fit and fabulous. Um, when you're doing fit and fabulous, just use Pam. Save a little bit of calories on that. All right, so we're going to go put these in the air fryer and get it set. We're going to cook them for six minutes on each side at 400 degrees. So mine kind of goes together like this. Hey, 
Hey, this is Julie Tussie. I want to invite you to listen to my podcast, The Julie Tussie Show. It's a lifestyle podcast for women. I'm also known as the Big Blonde Baby, and I like to bring you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. Yes, with me, no topic is off limits, but in this unpredictable and exciting show, I like to focus on women's health, fitness, fashion, current events, and women's lifestyles. This edgy, funny, and informative podcast is just what you need to quote unquote live your life to the fullest. Find me on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and iTunes. The Julie Tussie Show podcast. You're going to love it. The music on this program is off a CD that Gary and I made called And Dance. It's Christian blues, and we'd love for you to have it. You can get it at cdbaby.com forward slash CD forward slash Julie Tussie 4. Honey, let's go shopping at Bluegrass Marble and Granite. All right, but I really don't want to miss the game today. Bluegrass Marble and Granite of Richmond is Madison County's only local fabrication shop for granite, marble, quartz, and Dacton countertops. Visit our showroom to view full slabs of natural stone and schedule a free in-home estimate. Order now and receive a free Kentucky-shaped marble cutting board. Always have your drink on a rock with Bluegrass Marble and Granite. Go get! Visit John Rader Farm Bureau Insurance North Madison office for your insurance needs, great rates, and great service right here in Richmond, Kentucky. Tell them Julie sent you. Can you see my... <laughs> there we go. And then you put it in. Now I'm going to set it for 400. And I think that I can do time, 10... 10 minutes, I want that to be six. And I'm gonna start it. There we go. So now we're going to turn the egg rolls. We've cooked them at 400 degrees on this air, in this air fryer for six minutes and we're gonna flip them and cook them another six minutes. So, so the egg rolls are done. done. I cannot wait to see these, they're gonna be amazing. Yeah, now see my um, air fryer, I think I would do 350. You just kind of kind of have to test, but they look delicious. They're going to be amazing. And there you go. We'll take these over and plate this food up because it's going to be so good. Nancy, look at that. That looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Let me go grab these. Thank you. <laughs> so now we're going to take... Um, I'm gonna do this for sauce. I'm gonna take rice. Now this is basmati, or is that, no? No, I use jasmine. jasmine. This is jasmine rice. That is my favorite rice. Do you have a preference for rice? I like jasmine also. Jasmine is just so, it's fluffy. Um, I cook it in the microwave. So, so easy. You take one cup. Do you, have you ever cooked rice in the microwave? No. Oh, it's so easy, and it did take me about a year to perfect, to get it right. But you take the jasmine rice, take one cup of it dry, you rinse it really good, then you put three cups of water in it, and you have it in a microwavable dish. Um, if you use glass, it might take a little longer. So I use an actual dish that's made for microwaving by Tupperware. Okay. And you can actually even just use a Tupperware dish to a plain one. But you put it in the microwave, and you cook it on regular high for 10 minutes. Then you just, all you do is reset. You don't have to pull it out, stir it, nothing. Reset it and set it for 20 minutes at 50%. And when you come out, this is what you have. It's beautiful, absolutely nice beautiful. Fluffy. So fast, I mean, you clean the kitchen while it's cooking. <laughs> now, Nancy, look at this. Oh my gosh, does that, that look amazing? So oh my gosh. <laughs> and I just have to have vegetables on the side of mine. That's I don't like for vegetables sure. with everything. It looks so good. Me too. We got that. Oh, we want to put a little bit of this on there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's get me mine. You guys, this sauce is amazing. It smells so good. <laughs> you can go on my website, thejulietussieshow.com, and download these recipes right now. Now, these vegetables are just a mixed, uh, steamable bag from the grocery store. I like those little baby corns. Do you like those? I do. Now, 
I like to do this with, with an egg roll. Thank you. I'm gonna put your plate more in the center and show you what I do. This one is the softest one, but I do this. <laughs> I cut into them like this and open them up to hold my sauce. Mm -hmm. Now the sauce, that, you can use duck sauce, um, but I couldn't get any. I couldn't find it at the store, so you can use duck sauce, but this I found, I wanna show you this. This is called Sweet and Chili Sauce, and it's by, can you read that name? Pante. Pante. I actually got this at Ken's. Have you been to Ken's here in Richmond, Kentucky? I have not. It's a little sushi store, and they sell full-size bottles of ho hoisin sauce and all kinds of teriyaki and all that. And this, this is so good. Oh my gosh, it's like a sweet chili sauce, and it's K H I N S. I'm giving a shout out to them because they're amazing. I love their sushi. Love it. So I'm gonna put sauce in mine. You want some sauce in yours? You want sauce on yes, yours? Yes, please. Yes, ma'am. That looks fabulous. It is so good. I just really, really, okay, that's it. I have 10 more sauce. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, everybody, for watching today. Nancy, thank you for thank helping you. me. What a thank joy you. it was. Thanks for all your help in the food prep. That's a lot of work, isn't it? It is, but well worth it. We love it. We love doing it. I want to thank Bluegrass Marble and Granite for um, being an official sponsor of the Julie Tussie Show. If you want to see some of their work, it's right here in 965 Auckland Avenue. Beautiful. Is this countertop? I love this countertop. Oh, they let me pick out the entire slab, and it has this dark black vein going through it that is beautiful. It and is. I got to take the template. It was huge. It was like, and they're like, okay, where do you want it? And so we put it up there. And they cut this out. Just gorgeous, gorgeous work. I want to thank Aaron Osborne, my producer, and Gary Tussie, the executive producer. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. And remember, you only get one life. Live it to the fullest and eat good. Life is my oyster, darling. Pass the hot sauce.